guys, my name's Allison. I go by the pen name AGM Campbell, and I'm a writer of fantasy, romance, and young adult fiction. And um, today I want to talk about my goals for 2021. And first, let's take a minute to appreciate how cute my planner is. It says, look at all the magic around you. And it's a happy planner. And my first happy planner, in fact. And I just, I absolutely love it. I love all the little sections. And my favorite part, there are these little animals for every month. And my favorite one is the bunny. <laughs> Anyways, let me go over what are my biggest goals for this year. I'm gonna say it's five goals, but really it's six, but five is a better number. <laughs> so we're gonna go with that. Number one is to publish a book. Any book, but a book. Because I just wanted to be pretty general, just in case the one that I'm planning to release for some reason doesn't work out. It's currently with beta readers. It's supposed to be edited next month, which is <laughs> terrifying. But anyways, I think that that should work out, but I wanted to say a book just in case, you know, it falls through and I have to, you know, move on to a different manuscript. I do have others that could totally be my first one out, you know, but that's number one and it definitely has to happen this year because if it doesn't, I'm going to explode. <laughs> Any other writers out there who have published novels understand how I feel, I'm sure. <laughs> um, number two would be to save as much money as possible to put towards publishing because it's expensive and I'm planning on fast releasing my YA fantasy series and to do that I'm gonna have to have money saved and put aside for that because it's expensive and to do it all at once like that I'm gonna have to plan ahead. So that's why I have that goal. The next one is kind of two in one but I'm gonna put these two together. Um, it's to get a hundred YouTube subscribers and the next one is to get a thousand Instagram followers, which these are probably at the bottom of my list if I was to put them in order of importance because, I mean, I don't have that much control over who decides to follow me or not. Um, I can control how much content I put out, so I'm going to try and be pretty consistent this year and we'll see how that goes. But um, this is basically just like my dream, but it's not really anything I can control, so. But we'll put it there anyways as as a bullet point. <laughs> and then next would be to have an established brand slash author logo slash website. And obviously I would need to have that before I publish my first book so that I can have somewhere for people to follow me and look up information about me and what what I have planned. And I do have someone working on a logo for me, so it shouldn't be too much longer, maybe like a month or two before my website is live. <laughs> ah! <laughs> but that, that, that's, that's, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> if you, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> And the last one I have on my list, I, I might be the most excited about this one, maybe, or maybe it's tied with just publishing a book in general, but my last goal is to release an audiobook of my book that I release. So I know that's, that's a lofty goal, especially considering how long it can take to record an audiobook and the fact that I haven't like started looking for a narrator at all. <laughs> but I have time, right? It's only January. <laughs> but yeah, recently I 
have fallen in love with audiobooks, truly. And I just think it would be so great to have my books in available in another another form that is accessible to more people. And I just think it would be really cool to hear my words spoken aloud by someone who's a professional and not just like me or like a computer voice, you know? So yeah, that would be really cool. That would, yeah, that's, that's a lofty goal, but I'm gonna put it on there because you gotta aim high, right? Because if you aim too low, then then it's not that exciting when you reach your goals and then you run out of things to do. So you better, it's better to aim high and fall short of that than to aim too low and then just surpass everything right away. And also I want something to work towards, something that will be a challenge and that I think will benefit me in the long run. I definitely plan on kicking off my professional career as an author, as a writer this year, like for real this time, <laughs> because I can't tell you how many years I have wanted this to happen. And if, if there was one good thing to come out of 2020, it was that I realized I have the power I fully have the control to make my dreams happen and nothing is holding me back anymore. It used to be that money was holding me back, but now I'm out in the real world. I, I do have some money, not a ton, but enough, you know, and technically you can have a tiny, tiny budget for self-publishing or a really, really big one. So, um, I'm gonna try and go somewhere in between, <laughs> at least to start off because, yeah, <laughs> I'm saving for other things too. And also paying off student loans, which are a pain in my you-know-what. <laughs> Anyways. That's what I have planned for 2021, and I'm looking forward to any fun, exciting surprises it might have to offer. Good surprises, though. Good surprises. I'm looking at you, 2020. But I'm feeling optimistic. It helps that I have this gorgeous planner, though. Can we just... Let's just look at it again. Let's just... It's so pretty. It's so celestial and purple. It's, it's very purpley. So that's all for now, folks. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe if you want to see more content like this from me and ring the bell if you want notifications. And also feel free to leave down in the comments what your goals are for 2021, whether that's writing related reading related or anything else. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!